Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of What's Your Story. I'm Catherine Mwangi. We are glad you tuned into KTN Home. So, last week we started a story that we didn't close because there's just so much to say. It was invigorating, it was inspiring, and he's back here today looking also dapper, the Fisher Folk. So, we established that his education was sponsored by this kind, generous man. His name is Seth from Seattle, Washington. And you got to hear how those periods of connection and disconnection and ultimately the full connection that enabled him to continue all the way to the end. That's the university education and also his foray into politics, serving the former prime minister, Raila Odinga. So where do we start today, Mr. Silas? Sorry, Mr. John Silas Chepkeres Jakakimba. Beautiful names and Oko somewhere on the side. Mm -hmm. You're most welcome tonight. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. So we left it off as, in fact, let's just play a few clips of where we left off this story so you can just get to catch up. Baba is a good man. Yeah. And he told me, I've been looking for somebody I can trust to do this job. And I think you can do it. I was shocked, my sister. I knew Baba was my friend, but not that he could appoint me to be spear. Ah! The boys in Kibra used to beat up the other peer. God, I prayed about it. And I told my grandmother, yeah. Dorina, he asked God to, to do some things in the spiritual realms to calm them down. He calmed them down. Okay, so you had lunch, and the former prime minister said to you, <laughs> I want you to come and serve in the position of personal assistant. And you went to your grandmother. And she did these prayers. Actually, let's start with that. What we said, she manipulated something in the spirit. <laughs> I thought you'd forget that. No, 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 no. It's actually the part I want us to go to. Because it was a by the way. Uh -huh. um, so I've been told to think about this mm -hmm. by the Prime Minister mm -hmm. at United Kenya Club. Mm -hmm. Then he sees I'm either shaken yes. or I need time to absorb it. Yeah. Even if, yes, well, my answer may be, he realized it's it, too big. it was too big for me to handle at that yeah. moment that, why me? Yeah. So whether it was why me or whether it was just me posturing any time to mm. make a decision, mm. he, he told me, think about it and we speak yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. But having agreed, mm -hmm. I was told there's a problem. Mm -hmm. They beat, <laughs> they always beat Mr. Odinga's <laughs> assistant there, physically. And he had scars. The late Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. The late Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. So that scared me. Yeah. Uh, I told you, Mr. Rasta School told me, don't worry, we'll yeah. help you manage. Uh -huh. I really don't know what that meant because yeah. it, it didn't stay there. But seeing I was going to be PA there, the office is right inside this. Mm -hmm. Langata office then was. Right in the, in the slums. In Kibra? Yes, in Kibra. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I went to Bondo to visit my grandmother, tell her this story, and to ask for her prayers, because I knew she was very prayerful. Mm. She taught me from uh, primary three to seven, when I lived with her, mm -hmm. that anything you want in this world, in this life, if you declare the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene on it, you'll get it. Then she also told me that sometimes you can use the grace and favor around people of higher faith, people who started mm. the journey of faith earlier than you. And luckily, seeing the, my grandmother is the one who taught me this, and she was alive, yeah. and I know her when it comes to the word of God. Yes. I went to her. She was my gold. Yes. Alive. Oh. Maybe platinum. Yeah. Yes. So I went to her, and I told her. Then she told me, kneel down. She actually didn't pray. She spoke to God about those boys. Mm -hmm. she, just, she, she spoke to God. She had a conversation with God. Yeah. And when she was praying, and I would say speaking to God, she had commas. Mm -hmm. So I would be like, maybe God is responding to her spiritually. <laughs> then she bound all those uh, boys. Jesus. Not, not the boys now, because it's not even about the boys. It's about whatever makes them just be hey, the ruthless the with the mm. uh, aids of uh, the principal. Uh. Mm. Mm. And to go physical. My ease was going physical. <laughs> Why they had to go physical, as I was told. Yeah. And it was true. Yeah. So that. So whatever it is that makes them decide to go physical with yeah. the aids, 
my grandmother, having spoken with the Lord, bound those things in this the spiritual realm. realms. Yeah. Mm. And she just said, it's done. And mm. she thanked God. Mm. Then she told me to stand up. Mm. Then she, called, she told me, Janam, it is well. You will be fine. I was fine today. They are my friends. So what were your roles then? What, what does a <laughs> personal assistant to the prime minister do? No. When that appointment came, yeah. <clears throat> that was personal assistant to Honorable Raila Odinga, ah. opposition leader and MP Langata. Mm -hmm. 207. Mm -hmm. Then we transition to uh, presidential campaigns. Yes. And he now needs a PA for the campaigns. Okay. But remember, I'm PA Langata. Yes. Okay? Yes. And so, <clears throat> around campaigns, you know, things, you know, the way things change. Eh? Yeah, things normally change in election year. But interestingly, the Prime Minister asked me to continue serving as his personal assistant mm -hmm. around the country and in the campaigns. Okay. Then I got a call. Remember, I'm in the same environment, but you still get a call. Okay. Then I'm told, uh, boss has directed, has instructed, that you come on board to the campaign environment as his PA there. You know, that's a separate thing. So, uh, I don't want to say who called me, mm -hmm. uh, but somebody who is very close to him around that space. So, I asked this person, but you know, remember, um, I have work to do in Langata. In any case, for him to be declared president, he must be declared MP Langata. Yes. And that was just so much of an assignment to deliver from where I sat. Yeah. Than anything else. Yeah. As they deliver the presidency, I needed to deliver Langata. Yes. And maybe we can get to that later because mm. there were issues also. Oh, okay. Now much more serious issues. Uh -huh. Then the guy told me, no, he knows that. And we asked him about that. Because you know now there's the question of how do I balance my time? <clears throat> when do I get daily briefs from Langata campaign team, coordinate them? Of course, luckily there was a sister, mm -hmm. uh, Ruth Odinga. Mm -hmm who uh, around that time came back from Kisumu mm -hmm. to come and be based in, in Langata mm -hmm. and help us run campaigns. So, well, by early December of 2007, there was pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were pressure points, not just one. Mm. <clears throat> from quarters I won't mention here. Mm -hmm. And they felt I was, and you know, just a child of a nobody, a peace and father who did not even have enough for subsistence for the kids, leave alone fees. So I was just Silas. Yeah. But Baba insisted I be with him as his peer in the campaigns and I remain in Langata. But it brought problems internally. Mm -hmm. and, and it's normal. Mm -hmm. It's not something I would say I was shocked. Okay. Well, I was, I was shocked, but it's not something I would say now yeah. is untoward or so mm. out of place. Uh, time and happenstance and chance have allowed me to understand things nowadays contextually okay. and appreciate what premises lead to what okay. in such environments. So okay. early December there was pressure and I had to go to Karen, to Baba's home, to tell him I wanted to resign. Oh. Because there was a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and there were people who felt I didn't have to do two jobs, PA in Langata and PA for the former prime minister in the campaigns nationally, and trying to do all those things. We fly back because, you know, you would go to the field, come back. From Wilson, I go to Langata. I bring all of them together. We need to talk about what happened in the day, what has happened the following day. Then I'm the one to give him reports regarding campaigns in Langata. Mm. And he insisted as much. But there were guys who felt, no, mm -mm. choose what you want to do. And, you know, they would also use other means of intimidating you. Means Sending like what? people to oh. just accost you and to tell you, you, you know. And that was strange to me. So I think one moment I yielded to that pressure and I went to Baba. <coughs> uh, early morning, hmm. I gave my briefs. Then I told him, Jacob, uh, there is an issue and um, I'm seeking your indulgence. 
I think I might need to step back. I didn't say to resign, mm -hmm. of course, from one of these roles, mm -hmm. which is actually what I meant. Mm -hmm. But in my heart, I was like, ah, ah, this is not the kind of environment I, you know. Yeah. Uh, the, the, and I wasn't sure whether Baba really understood and appreciated what it meant for a young person to be given those um, high voltage responsibilities in the same overall environment. Yes. He did, by the way. So when I told him, he asked me, what's, what's up? We're well, just two on his breakfast table. Yeah. He's doing his Numa and uh, Nyoyo, mm -hmm. and I'm doing the same. Mm -hmm. I'm relaxed. Then I tell him my issues. Then he tells me, he told me two things. Mm. And he called me Sila. And when he calls me Sila, I know mm. he, wa he <laughs> wants that point to go across. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah. uh, naminai, naminai, Silas, Silas. But when he says Sila, uh. I know either because something Ameona was not done correctly, <laughs> or he wants to say something mm. that I know mm. I must just take it seriously yeah. Yeah. and deliver it. Yes. Sila, I have my eyes, I see. I have my, and he did this, I have my ears, I hear telling me he knows all those things, he's had them. You do the work I gave you. I'm the one who gave you both, work, both jobs to do. Now you can imagine how reassuring that is. Mm. This guy tells me he's been hearing all those things I've been telling him. He's been seeing the whole picture. He has all briefs, he has all the information. But I'm the one who gave you the two jobs to do. Wow. Go back and do the jobs I gave you. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. And it was so overwhelming. Yeah. Because we go to the field. I remember we were in, we were in um, campaign formations, the Pentagon, the then Pentagon, where there was you know, Balala and another team. Yeah. There was um, uh, Mudavadi. William actually was with us in Baba's team. Uh -huh. uh, that's how I first came to meet, meet William anyway. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. We would use the same chopper. It was divided into, I think, five or four teams. Mm -hmm. So we go to the field, come back. From Wilson, me, I had Langata throughout campaigns. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm. So how many years did you serve? Did you serve him? I've served Baba. I've been with Baba for, I think, 19 years. 19? From 206 to... That's two decades. And being Baba, being Baba, maybe to now. <laughs> and so it's only that but one. formally to yes. 17th March 2023, this year. 17th March 2023. I don't know. It comes to how many years? Yeah. That's almost two decades, to be honest. Yes. Yeah. Shy of maybe a, few, a couple a few months. months. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Basically, half my life. You've served this person that, you know, for, for most of us, just see him on television. Uh, most people call him the enigma. Most people, in fact, actually, your letter, the letter that, well, I, I, I don't know whether it's your letter or not, but I just saw it on, on, on social media. Uh, your letter where you are, the one where you resigned from... Uh, the party, the post, the, the servitude to, to, to him. There were two letters. There, were two. There, was, there was one to the party. Okay. So maybe that's <coughs> then there was one to him. To Baba. Uh -huh. mm. Is it the one where you had compared him to Nelson Mandela? Yes. yes. That's the one to Baba. That's the one to the Baba. The one to the party was like a paragraph. Right. Oh, a par telling them, thank you, <laughs> please. Yeah. <laughs> Strike off my name from that role. <laughs> Okay. And, and ask the register to ensure that is done immediately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the one to Baba was t totally yes. different. Yeah. The tone was the different. Tone was different, yes. It was, it, 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 there it was, was so like much time to and, and thought to I it. I felt that. I felt like this was like a sunrise. Yeah, yeah. To it was father. emotional. Yes. So mm. um, let's first start with your comparison of, of him uh, with, um, with uh, Madiba. You know, could, could you just give us <coughs> a, a glimpse of who he is? You know, we see this man, yes, we hear him speak, but you know him at a very close, intimate level, like a son knows a dad, as much as a son would anyway. Who is he? Yeah, there's so much to say about Mr. Raila Odinga from my side. Okay. Yeah. So, fine, I hear you. Baba is a lot. Okay. He's a lot. And... Um, he means well for this country, for the continent, and I think he just is that folk who genuinely wants 
the best for, for citizens of the country. And I think he's lived for that. And he still does for that. Forget about the presidential campaigns, whether this election goes this way. Th th this, that's how elections normally go. Mm. I would say just like any other leader, any, even Uhuru or William, anybody who wants to be president, definitely they want to make things better. Mm. Cooperation measure mm. for everyone. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think he's done the best he could for this country. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Kenyans must find a way of appreciating him and just letting him be. Okay. That's a very very serious on this, by the way. And yeah. sometimes I feel he needs to pull back. And, and just, let, just let the country roll. Yeah. Um, I, I'm too young to say this, but I think, I don't know, I might be wrong or I don't know. The burden of a nation must not necessarily be carried on, on an individual's shoulder for long. I'm not questioning Madiba now. Neither am I questioning the same Baba. But seeing that he's still alive and he's here, I don't know, maybe now he could be in Karen or somewhere in Capitol Hill. He's alive, he's okay. I think we just need to appreciate him and let him be. Yeah, and I strongly feel he just needs to step back and just let Kenya flow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean to say this, by the way, but yeah. this is what I genuinely feel. Yeah. Yeah. And just do, just go serve Africa else in another capacity. Yeah. That is coming from my belly, not even from my heart. He has a legacy. Baba has his legacy already. Mm. Currently, I support William Ruto, mm. unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I have my reasons for that. Okay. But even William, and I believe he's going to deliver, by the way. I, we can talk about this later. William means well. And he's on the seat, right? The person who is on that seat, I can tell you from where I sit, he deliberately means well and wants the best for this country. But I still also think, as Jaga Kimba, he has to work hard to make that thing work for the nation, the economy, and attendant issues cohesion, you know all these things. That way he'll get his legacy. Mm. But Baba has a legacy. And that's why I feel he just needs to step back and chill and just let Baba just chill. Okay. Yes, and I've told him this much. I was actually going to ask I that. have told him this much. You have? In writing. Uh. Sometimes when I want to communicate these issues, I, I put them in writing. Yeah. Then we can discuss mm -hmm. on a counter somewhere after gym or something, mm -hmm. but I put them in writing in point form and I, I premised them well. Right. Yes, I did on 13th of September last year. And did you have... I think it was away on a holiday after elections. Okay. Yeah. So did you have the one-on-one? -on -one? I'll keep that myself. Okay. So after serving him for almost two, two decades, um, March this year, you penned your resignation. It definitely and obviously wasn't an overnight decision. Or was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't a 17th of March decision. Yeah. No. What led to it? Hey, it's an amalgam of just so many things to put together. Mm -hmm. And saying, I have to quit, but I don't want to throw tantrums. Oh. Which I think everybody who has ever left before me, they did that. Mm -hmm. uh, did it need you to dig up courage to do? To resign. I think the courage I had for that was not mine. It was spiritual. It came and went. Hmm. It came and went. Mm. Did you anticipate the backlash? Definitely. Hmm. There were people would say this one has been bought. People, would, I mean, the usual things. But I am Jack Akimba, uh, Catherine. Let me. Uh, I think the previous phase was a bit emotional hmm. because. I think I was speaking on behalf of Kenya, yeah. not even Baba. Yeah. And uh, I thought they need to handle Kenya the way I was saying. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to this other one, well, Yesu Baroni Bwana. So as we ponder on Yesu being Bwana, we take a break. Yeah, let's take a break. We do a break. Mm. So we are back after the break. Don't go too far. If you have. Direct access to Baba, 
watakukujia. I, Silas, John, Chetkares, Pouko, Jakakimba, Nyakwadorina. I would have lost my life in Mandera while Baba was inside there and we were just leaving to go to the next venue. The same people around Baba's system. Welcome back. It's What's Your Story here on KTN Home. I'm Catherine Mwangi. We're having a chat with John Silas, Chap Keres, Jaka Kimba, <laughs> the Fisher folk. You can tell I enjoy saying all his four names. And there's also Ouko somewhere there on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, before the break, uh, we were just touching on the decision he made in March this year where he resigned from serving the former Prime Minister, Honorable Raila Odinga. And we just had to take a break just to, you know, just hydrate and we are back. And I... I you will allow me to go there again, mm -hmm. with your permission, mm -hmm. about the decision you took in March. And it wasn't overnight, you already said that. And I asked, what led to it? You served this enigma for two decades, and suddenly... Ordinarily, I would have been gone by second, 1st December 2017. Oh. Because that's the first time I wrote a resignation letter to Baba. And it was also Christian appreciation, not resignation. It was longer than this one. Mm -hmm. First December 2017 would have been the day I would leave the employee of Baba Space and the formal engagement. Um, but that was informed by something different, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been with Baba for some time, you know. And I felt by 2017, December, that if Baba were to look for, you know, I mean, as a leader, mm -hmm. you also want to see your own people grow. Yes. Which Baba does. Okay. But I also got to be think or believe that I should have been one of his frontline sons to... Um, showcase for that, mm -hmm. to be proud of. Mm -hmm. I know he was proud of me. Mm -hmm. I believe he's still very proud of me. But you know now, uh, in 2015, if you may remember, there was 2014-15, there was a senatorial by election in Omobe County. Mm -hmm. I know I was doing my PhD in South Africa. <clears throat> so in between, um, there is the Jero Lotino Kajuang sudden demise. Yes. The former minister. Honorable Gerald Otieno Kajuan. Yeah. In fact, before that, mm -hmm. ordinarily, if you asked me, you know, I'd, I'd served as a, a peer to prime minister, and not just any prime minister in this world. Mm. Raila Amol Odinga. Yes. I, I had the experience. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yes, mm. yes. Baba calls me and tells me, uh, you know what has happened, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. I want you to come back. I want you to go for the bitters. The, the Homer Bay Senate seat. Mm -hmm. It is Baba who told me to come and run for that seat. Yeah. Me, I was a, a PhD candidate in South Africa. I did just come back to run because my senator passed on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And when I landed, the day he went there in Karen, Kajuang's house, for the first, yeah. I went there with him. In fact, I was dead in a shot, in a one shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He told me to find him at Serena. We went together. To the home. But I came back because he told me. To come back. Yeah. When I came, we had breakfast at this place. Yeah. Mama prepared a good breakfast. Mama Aida. We were joined by uh, Joe Aguer. Mm -hmm. When Baba told me he wants me to run, Joe Aguer was there. It's not like I needed him to keep supporting me. No. But if any of you can remember how that by election went, mm. it was a bit riotous from my side towards the middle of the campaigns. Mm hmm because the ODM elections, were, nominations were bungled and uh, things just went the other way around. We were there with Kinakaroli and the rest. The, people, those boys kicked those ballot boxes on the day of the nomination and I was going to win that thing. My friend TJ Kajuang, I think, is the one who brought those boys. But he's my senior and my friend. <laughs> and I'm saying this with a lot of love and, and it, you know, I've grown politically through these experiences. Actually, I don't even think he did a bad thing. You know, unajaribu tu pandeyako uki win. Kama hiya William. Namina hii, namina hii. 
Kisha chukua kiti unakalia. <laughs> but my anger came this way. Eh? I was very angry by the way. I, okay. much. I called Baba immediately. Remember, I was Baba's PA. Yeah. So I called Baba. I told him, Jacob, there is a crisis. Hmm? <laughs> These boys have kicked the balloon boxes. <laughs> Baba was shocked. So, and I told him, Jacob, this thing must be repeated and done correctly. Me, I don't need your support. I don't need any other thing. I just want this process to be left to run its course. Yeah. Please talk to uh, the senator, then uh, the lady, Nani, Judy Pareno. Eh. Talk to Judy to do this thing properly. And even if it means funding the, the, these delegates to go to Kisumu, I can look for the money. I, I told Jacob that. I can look for the money to support Judy Pareno <laughs> to take this delegate somewhere outside Homer Bay for this process to run. He told me he was going to talk to Pareno. What happened next? Our competitors, Karoli, this person, this person, they were called to Nairobi. I was also called to a meeting where I gathered we were be, to be talked out of the race for Moses, my very good friend. By the way, Kenya has the best senator in Moses Kajuan, for the record. Kenya has never had a better senator than Moses Otino Kajuan. I, I rebelled. Mm. Yeah, if you remember, I rebelled. Mm -hmm. And I said, I am continuing with my race for Homer Bay County Senatorial by elections. Yeah. On any platform available. I knew there was code. Yes. I talked to General Koech, and you know, uh, UDM was in, uh, UDM was in uh, code. Yeah. It was even a former party, uh, Rais William. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and I was there with uh, Sifuna, who was uh, chairing my campaign, Sedwin Sifuna. Mm. And now Dr. Osuri is a CEC in Omabe, I think uh, he's a chief officer of health. Mm. Hesbo Nomolo, uh, PS uh, Interior's brother, hmm. had a strong team. We went ahead to continue campaigning. But the day I heard that Fidel passed on, mm. on a Sunday morning, I called Baba, I came back to Nairobi, and Baba sat me down and requested me to leave that. Mm. If I could consider leaving the race, because many things have happened, yeah. and I left that race like that. But now to 2017, Baba, do you know why, how Baba, so Baba told me, and he called me to a border before he left for India, mm. a few days after Fidel's burial. Mm. I spoke with Baba for almost two, two hours, or plus, two hours plus. Mm. In fact, in between now, he told Mama, uh, let me uh, finish with Silas Kidogo. Mm -hmm. He gave me his word on some things, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I know Baba always keeps his word. Okay. He told me, I want you in Mbita in 2017. Mm -hmm. So please, this race, and I have information, you are doing very well, mm. but I don't want a uh, situation where votes are divided and uh, another third party because there are other people. Mm. So pull out, mm -hmm. just pull out today. That very day I was meeting him. Then I pulled back. Then campaigns begin. Then we have a chat. Baba tells me, I remain in the campaign. And you know, presidential campaigns come with a lot of demands. Yeah. And there's so many things, including sensitive things yes. around that space. Yeah. Then Baba told me, just to keep on, he wants me in Iyala. Mm. And remember I told you, somebody like Baba can also actually mentor his own and put them somewhere. And I had experience. Connie, which experience do you need, Catherine? <laughs> Migani, Michigani, <laughs> Venus. He told me he wants me in Iyala. Mm -hmm. Iala, 2017. Yeah, yeah. Eh? He told me to apply. He's the one who, I remember that day we were in Meru. He asked me, have you applied for that thing? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Last minute, mm -hmm. everything is done. And I think you even saw on media, the names for Modi Ranger House, and my name was always going, I don't know why my, my name kept going viral, yet there were many names from Orange House to mm -hmm. Parliament. Mm -hmm. But towards the last minute, there was an ODM uh, convention in Kasarani. Mm. Baba tells me, because he was leaving for Israel after that, mm -hmm. uh, let's meet at the VIP lunch at Jomo Kenyatta. I, I want us to discuss something. I went there, what he told me. So, ile manene yala, ni kama iko shida siaya. And it was understandable. But all these people have told me, I now need to tell, to, take, uh, to have um, Dr. Buru go to Yala. 
let me tell you, I'm a human being. Eh? I didn't shout about it. I never wrote about it. I never told it with my family. But I felt so... Uh, have you ever been... F I don't know. F felt flat. Hmm? The way you're looking at me, the way I look at her, I never spoke. He looked at me like that. I never spoke at all. Then I remember he said, uh, is that fine? I just told him, okay. That was November or October 2017. I said, no. Because I, I said, this thing can, this kind of things can one day go away. My, I would just have a heart attack. Kill your spirit. Yes. No, you can go into depression. Mm. So I was like, ah, 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 ah. I, resigned, I attended a, a, a resignation letter. It was also Christian appreciation. It was the best letter I've ever written to Baba. What happens? My big brother Andrew, Andrew is the chief of staff, Mondo, an accomplished uh, folk. Mm. Where are you? Mzea said, I need to talk to you urgently. Come to the office. When I went there, the letter that had been received mm. was pulled from Baba's desk. Everything, I think he read it out to Baba or something. I don't know what happened. He told me, Baba said, you take back these letters and you're not resigning. I have them to date. What happened next? Yeah. Baba organized a lunch for me and Dr. Oburu. We had lunch at the then Rubik at in Kilimani. Uh -huh. And I actually ended up visiting Dr. Oburu in, uh, in Yala one moment. And we had very good moments. But you get where I'm coming from, eh? I see that. So that build up. Yes. That, yes. Uh, then now on to these other campaigns. Uh -huh. These other campaigns, um, some things could have been done better. That's all I can say. And when I th sensed there was going to be a lot of kiburi around some people who feel they are bigger players and they have issues with those who they believe mm. have access to Baba and they tried interfering with that during campaigns. If you have direct access to Baba, what a kukujia. I don't want to say what that means. Mm. Of course, no threats. Nothing mm. to do with life mm. threats, no. Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. But they were mm -hmm. Now, but it happened that they get to realize, no, maybe this Jaga Kimba, even if you ensure you try blocking his access, mm. Mm. Or maybe this Catherine or this Peter or mm. this Baba still, I don't know whether they check Baba's phones or something, mm. I don't know. I think they check messages, they <laughs> find you are always talking on very sensitive things or something, or they find Baba always calls you, they see, I think they check phones. <laughs> and they realize you are very much in touch with Baba, or Baba is very much in touch with you throughout. You don't even need to meet him physically during yeah. campaigns. Wow. Shida. And I can tell you on camera, these people organized for our youth to beat me up in Mandera. When? In Mandera, during these campaigns, yeah. I would have lost my life. I, Silas, John, Chepkeres, Ouko, Jakakimba, Nyakwadorina. I would have lost my life in Mandera while Baba was inside there and we were just leaving to go to the next venue. The same people around Baba's system. I'm telling you about two stories which is not even known to people in the campaigns. Only a few people know about this. Winnie, of course Baba, the two bodyguards, and not more than two other people. Mm. Let me tell you, Catherine, what is so painful about this. When I look about, uh, back, huh? all that, the, and let me tell you, these things come with a lot of sacrifices. People don't know. It's never as rosy, no, yeah. uh, always, no. Yeah. The, the, and that's why in my letter I said several lows and, and few highs. Yeah. Uh, my words are always deliberate. Ata kama ni koma. Just to die a few, few, few days to elections. Do you think that would be a good thing? Yeah. What about my kids, my sons? What about my wife? What about my loved ones? My friends. Yagakimba was, 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 was strangled in Mandera. So what I'm saying is, with yeah. all that, we all have our weaknesses. Not even that Yagakimba was a better aid than the rest, no. Mm. <clears throat> I just served my... Yeah. I did my best. Yeah. And I believe... I did well, and Baba has done his bit, yeah. and I know he's done well. Yeah. And I said, well, it's time. it's time just to chill back, pull back. Yeah. And then now, 
onto Homa Bay thing. The same elements, oh, he's still in Homa Bay, he's enjoying life because you know, Homa Bay is uh, ODM government. <coughs> and they put pressure on Gladys immediately after that resignation. Yeah. Uh, it was so awkward. She even feared meeting me. You know the way sometimes our local <laughs> politics, because they say all politics is local. But even if it is local, oh, Ruto. But Ruto came to Mabe publicly. Those who are costing me about it don't even know Baba was he was in the background and he knew about Williams coming to Mabe. We spoke. We spoke. He gave an okay to that trip. He did. We spoke. I remember I was playing golf. The day I resigned, all these friends of mine called me. I can tell you before me and God. They did not know. I didn't tell anybody. Nobody in Williams' administration knew. knew about it, including my personal friends. Politically, I just want to chill. Yeah. Just to chill. Yeah. But do you know why I wanted to chill? Uh -uh. To do nothing. I didn't tell them that even when it comes to Babas, yeah. I just be grey because of those experiences. Uh, and the last one in Mandera. Uh, but now when I had a tree in Guinea, uh the dangu sasa mimi nasema sasa sasa e what we in a gandhi sasa e what to sasa sawa. But uh, then I'm like I'll keep supporting Gladys Wanga. Yeah. Whether from legal advisory as it were on record to yeah. partnership to whatever. I'm a woman bayan by the way. But they also started putting pressure on, on Gladys. Mm. Hey, he's eating our money, he's doing... Ah! You resigned. I went, no. Mm. I went and have a sit down with Gladys. By governor. Told her. No, first I called the chief of staff. Mm -hmm. In fact, he called me and asked, he texted me. We've seen your resignation. What, what, what do you think? Mm. And I called him back. Remember, I was chilling somewhere. He just came from office. <coughs> I told him, Charles. I know what this comes with, and, and I understand politics well. This might bring pressure on, on Mama. Tell her I am ready to thank uh -huh. her too, but not because she wants me out, yeah. but because I don't want her to go through unnecessary uh -huh. pressure. People will start saying, Mara, Ruto, you know, but all those things. I don't want that pressure on Mama. I'll support her fully from outside. Mm -hmm. That wasn't coming. I called the chief of staff, I told him the same, nothing. Later I went and sat down with mama. She told me, no, don't resign. And she gave me a whole number of reasons. And we had a meeting with the minds. That okay, fine. She told me, just lay low a bit, but I don't want you to resign. Mm. And she gave me her reasons. Mm. And it was okay. Mm. Along the way, I think I was in Cape Town on some uh, uh, climate summit uh, event. At Ceslo, we are involved in climate finance space. Mm -hmm. So I went on some round table in Cape Town, not long ago. This is just the other day mm. in June. There is pressure like this on Gladys Wanga, on Jaka Kimba. I don't know what they think. If you drive Mercedes, Nyao, Nini. Me, by grace of God, I bought my V8 in 2015, in the middle of opposition. <laughs> you remember now the other stories? Mm. In the middle of opposition, 2015, mm. 21st June. We were not in government, but you, as you can now imagine, it was the worst moment to be in opposition mm. for me. Okay? So I don't know. The people are just jealous. Mm. Uh, so they put a lot of pressure on Mama Gladys Wanga. And I told I talked to the chief of staff first, yeah. not to the county secretary, yeah. Professor Muok. So they say pressure, pressure. So when I talked to Mama, Mama did not want me to resign. Yeah. can say that. Yeah. And if I did, she didn't want me to go public with it. And okay. I told her, if I resign, I told the, them, I have to go public. Because public, yeah. when I was appointed, it was public, yeah. and I accepted it publicly. Yeah. And I resigned. And that's what happened. I quit. And that's the story. Have your wounds healed? Or is, is that... Which ones? The political ones? Yes. Political wounds, yes. There's wounds No, definitely, there. because yeah. you know why it would heal almost immediately? Like when you bring it up with uh, Baba, you, you can see how mad his system becomes, eh? Yeah. And makes a call immediately. Mm. I mean, that is what you need to heal a wound, such a wound. Yeah, but the emotional ones, you know, emotional wounds from just what that journey has been, the sacrifices you've had to make. No, I don't no? have... No? No, 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 no. On that one, nothing. Okay. I, I think I would, I would have issues if, say, Baba had problems with me. Ah, got That it. would be a different thing, say, if, yeah. if my issues were coming from Baba. Ah. No. Mm. No. If it's people, yeah. I mean, honestly, I've been in the game long enough. Got it. Though it might inform some decisions I make, like now, say, 19 years later, yes. I decided with all this, 
And with these latest ones mm. where people really feel they need to protect some space, yes. I'm like, yes. people can always be better next time. Mm. It's not like they remain bad people mm, or mm, something. Mm. But for me, I chose to move. Yeah. And of course, after that, I don't want you to ask this, I decided to support William. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mm. I fully support William's yes. decision. Yes. Yeah. So are you planning to via the next elections or no, we'll cross that bridge later. But I think for that. now my focus I've told you is family. Yes. And uh, just ground says law and just uh, support that team there. Yeah. There's a a very wonderful team at that law firm yes. doing the best they can in the circumstances. Yeah. And they, we have the best team. Okay. We have the best team. So I think I share in, in the pride of its success, that law firm. Yes. So I think that's just okay. And I wish the rest of the people all the best. Yeah. Uh, the people with Baba, Baba remains Baba, he remains my father. I've always said this. Mm, mama is Mama. Wow. Okay. Her home is my home. Yeah. I don't need to come back. Yeah. I just need to walk in. If I want to say hi, I always buy her samaki. Yes. From, uh, bring her samaki from Kakimba. Yeah. Fresh. Mm, mm. To Opoda. Okay. That will continue. Mm. But uh, in terms of the country, mm. Mm, we, 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 I know the country is going through a lot mm -hmm. of uh, distress mm -hmm. and stress, mm -hmm. economic. Uh, but we, we have to give William time to, to try do things according to his manifesto okay. and see what works even within two years. Okay. But seeing the kind of efforts he's putting yeah. and uh, how intentional he seems from where I sit. You know, now William is president. And that, that seat is not a soft one. Mm. It, it's hot. Mm. From what I've seen, and I can put a whole literature around it, yeah. uh, the president means well for the country. And just because of that, if he succeeds on what he's trying to do, to change the economics, hmm, to Boresha Maisha, whether it's using that method of his of uh, subsidizing uh, production and not consumption, if it works, as I think it will, I can bet my sack of men on his second term, and I'll vote for him. Well, John Silas. My friends are in there. If they seek my advice, I'm always available. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. I mean, all I can say is wow. Thank you. To Kutane County of Endless Potential, Homa Bay. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We've had two weeks of conversation with John Silas, Chep Keres, Oko, Jaka Kimba. He has served um, our former prime minister, Honorable Raila Odinga, for two decades of his life. He has been in the deep of politics, swam in, swallowed by the sharks, uh, vomited out like Jonah in the Bible. <laughs> Those of you understand the story. His life has been in danger. He's, he's ran out of the country just to secure his life, the life of his family. He came back, he's pursued his PhD. There's a lot he's done and he's he just said in this show he's only 40, he just turned 40, 40 years. Wow. So um, I can only say thank you for watching. If you have questions, he's very active on social media. So <laughs> you find Silas Jakakimba, he's there. I just follow him on Twitter. Actually, that's why I discovered him a few months ago. I'm not, I don't do local trends, but I saw he was trending for two months and I checked out what, who is this guy. Um, to you watching and you're interested in politics because we know most of you are and you have heard what it takes so it's not just a straight line it is not smooth you will get beaten sometimes people have paid for that with their lives uh, the lucky ones are the preserved ones but again engage with him he's very active on social media and if you have any questions or any form of feedback 22151 is our sms number and it's free of charge Good night. The show repeats Sunday 2 p.m. in case you want to watch it again. Thanks for tuning in. Gem Suites Hotel and Luxury Service Departments currently boasts two properties within Kenya. Gem Suites State House Crescent, set in the exclusive State House neighborhood, comprises of 34 well appointed apartments and Gem Suites Riverside, set up in a secure, private, and tranquil setting in the upscale Riverside neighborhood with 98 luxuriously appointed full-service one- and two-bedroom apartments, superior hotel rooms, and presidential penthouses.